All indications are that the Forum for Democratic Change Party will field its presidential candidate, Dr. Kiza Besije, in the 2016 general election. This follows the failure to attain consensus on a single presidential candidate by the Democratic Alliance, a loose opposition coalition. <laughs> Dr. Besije will take on the ruling NRM party's sole candidate, President Jerry Museveni, and the former Prime Minister John Patrick Amamambabazi, who is backed by a group of seven political outfits in the rest of state house. But does FDC, which is the largest opposition political party, still have the political muscle to sway the electorate to its side for a victory in the presidential polls? Political analyst Nicola Sopio argues that the FDC will have an uphill task shifting the political landscape without the support of other eminent members of the opposition. There are key MPs, for example, take Masaka, Matthias Mpuga has moved. Uh, if you take the north, people like Nobat Mao, Regan Okumu, if they move. If you take the east, if Nandala, Nandala moves. If you take, for example, Busoga, people like uh, the former UPC uh, mobilizer, Kanusu moves. So the dynamics will change. So FDC will be at a huge disadvantage uh, in the next election. It cannot, in my view, break that glass ceiling that Besija has set for himself. Opio's arguments are buttressed by the latest claims that out of the 35 FDC legislators, at least 12 MPs have pledged allegiance to Mbabazi. Opio, who is the executive director of Chapter 4 Uganda, a human rights organization, factors in the apparent difference in strategy that FDC President Major General Mugisha Muntu and Dr. Kiza Besaje seems to expose. You have a party president uh, who has a different mentality, a different approach to politics, uh, and a flag bearer who seems to have a completely directly opposite uh, approach to, to elections. So you essentially have a team manager who is being humiliated every day and being contradicted by a team, a, a team captain. Uh, so the FTC finds itself still unable to move forward to morph and change and perhaps rebrand because they just have gone back uh, to where they were coming away from. Amidst these arguments, what seems clear is that when Besige sneezes, many in the population catch a cold. Besige, Besige's personality, yes, it will still play a very big role. There are people within FDC, no matter what you do, they will remain with Dr. Kiza Besige. He represents the type of person they want to see as a leader. And therefore, you cannot read him out. You can't. But... Can these crowds translate into votes at the critical moment? First of all, I don't think it is FDC's crowd. I've explained it is the local dynamics delivered by particular MPs in particular areas. Tell me how many times Besseji has been to northern Uganda after the last election. It just shows you how he doesn't have, first the region at heart, doesn't have that support to be able to keep it running. He hasn't gone back to the north ever since people in the north voted for him. Now, those dynamics are only maintained uh, you know, by local MPs and local uh, you know, electorates, not by, not by the centre. Uh, so, so therefore, that party support in itself perhaps could be an over-imagination of people's loyalty. A recent opinion poll by Research World International indicates a 32% growth in the number of registered voters. According to the Electoral Commission, there are 15.1 million registered voters. The CEO of Research World International, Dr. Patrick Wakida, says that Dr. Vesige needs to appeal to the new voters if he's to make a mark in the 2016 election. In the past, the people who constitute, constituted the, the voters for FDC have always been young people. So yes, FDC can do that, but they will have to design a message that can communicate to, to these people. As of now, that message is lacking. Opio feels that Dr. Besige may not have much to offer to the new voters. My sense is that uh, there is nothing absolutely new that Dr. Kiza, Dr. Kiza Besige offers. Having contested in the last three elections, uh, it is difficult to see, I mean, just like President Museveni, to see something new, uh, something exciting. It, it's going to be the same old rhetoric that we have had in the last couple of elections from both President Museveni but also from Kiza Besige. Unlike the previous three elections where Dr. Kiza Besige was only tussling it out with President Jerry Museveni, this time he will have to work harder 
considering the new entrant John Patrick Amamambabazi. Now whether he will score highest in the presidential race, we can only wait anxiously for February 2016 when engineer Badru Chigundu makes the pronouncement. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.